In this video, we will show you how to replace your power steering return line on this Chevy Tahoe. This will be located under the hood between your power steering pump and your hydro boost. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing you wanna do is remove as much power steering fluid from the power steering system as possible. We'll make our way right down here to the power steering reservoir. Remove that cap and give it a close inspection. You wanna make sure that the seal on the cap is still in good condition. You don't wanna have a leak in this area. At this point, the next thing you wanna do is use some sort of fluid vacuum. Now that we've drained the power steering fluid, we're going to come right up here to where the power steering return line connects onto the hydro boost. On this, you'll find that you have a small clamp that you can squeeze with some pliers, slide the clamp up a little bit, and remove the hose from the hydro boost. Sometimes when removing this, the hose will come off with the clamp. Now just get that clamp off the hose. Give the clamp a quick inspection, make sure it is still reusable and set it aside. Now we can make our way to the other side of the power steering return line. That'll be located just underneath this red battery junction box. Squeeze the clamp, remove the hose. Now we can take hold of that hose and remove it from the vehicle. There it is, friends. All right, let's get ready for the installation of our brand new power steering return line. Now for this, you wanna make sure that you have your clamp in place. Slit up the hose a little bit if you are reusing it. I'm not reusing my old clamp. I'm gonna have one of my new ones on here. I'll just put this up on there. Now we'll take the long straight end and we'll put it all the way down onto that power steering pump. Press it on there as far as you can. Make sure it's completely bottomed out. Once you've done that, continue on with putting the clamp in its original position and make sure it's nice and tight. Now that we have that side properly in place and tight, we'll continue on up at that brake booster. Once again, make sure that your clamp is in the proper position and make sure it's nice and tight. Double check to make sure it's nice and secure. Once you've done this, you can continue on to filling your power steering system. Now that we have the line installed, go ahead and clean up your mess. Continue on with filling that power steering system. Make sure you use the proper manufacturer specified fluid. When we were doing that line, of course, we did lose some fluid. As that fluid was coming out, air was going into the system. We need to burp it out of there. To do that, we'll make sure we have both front wheels raised off the ground and turn the wheel from side to side. The next thing we'll do is continue on to starting the vehicle. Now we'll just check that fluid level. You wanna make sure you're somewhere in between the add line and the full cold line, assuming the vehicle is still cold. Let's make sure that we resecure that power steering cap. The next thing you wanna do is just double check for leaks, close the hood and take your vehicle for a road test. Aside from that, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.